Yo, 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 King Earner coming to you guys live and direct. You already know we got the Honorable CMOS on sale, $50 a pound right now. But listen, more than anything, we got that Honorable CMOS soap. Everybody talking about infections and things of this nature. What's more better than something alkaline going on in your face, your skin, and everything else, which possible? Listen, y'all got to understand, I got the flax seed. I got just about every Honorable soap that you want. And we're talking about the flag seat is in the inside and the outside so you can get right, right. You don't want that dishonorable flu or whatever that they're spraying in the air going around and getting in your veins and your nose. So make sure you tune all the way in. Now, I want to say this. Everybody's hitting my DM. Everybody, King Erna, King Erna, King Erna. I'm like, what's up? They're like, yo, somebody got killed in Philly. Guy supposed to have been cooperating against some other individuals and things of this nature. Parents, I need for y'all to sit down. I'm going to take these glasses off so y'all can see me, man. I need for y'all to sit down. The reason why I need for y'all to sit down is because when you're raising your children, you have to give an understanding of honorable examples. Now, you may be going to work, but when you go to work, your child, your children, they do just about anything possible to be accepted in the streets because they can't get your attention, your time, may not have a father at home, whatever the case may be. Now, let me give you an understanding of something. You see, one is rebellion to what you're telling them to do, but they want to go out in the streets and earn. Some may be sitting at, looking at the mothers that just don't have the ability to work because of what's going on in the COVID time right now, and they say, damn, I want to help my mom, and they get in the streets. But there's always that one or that two or that nephew or that child that come around that don't want to be in the streets. And you're like, damn, I don't want him to be poisoned. Well, you have to have that conversation with that child. Listen, your brother, your cousin, your family members, they are in the streets. You aren't. In order to not be effective by the things that they have going on, you have to mind your business. And the ones that are in the streets are going to be the individuals that tell them, listen, mind your business. We don't want you a part of this if you got some solidness in your family. So that means anything they see them doing, brother, the cops kicking your door in, mother, parents, or whoever, drugs being in the home, guns, whatever the case may be, we don't know, but I'm giving an understanding and a clear example that <clears throat> they can understand, like when I, when mom, the police come in here, mom, I'm going to say you ain't had nothing to do with it, which is truth. Most parents, most mothers, most fathers, most and the big guardians, they don't know that what's going on with their child. So they have that understanding the child, like, I'm not going to get my mother or my grandparents or my guardians home taken. So I'm going to sign up for that and let them know that she didn't, he or she didn't know anything about it. Right? Okay. Well, the same thing goes applies in the streets. Understand that anybody that sells drugs that are a part of the streets are headed for either jail, hell, or bell. Even if one of the three. And when you're headed for that, you must understand this. You can't involve your family with this nonsense. If you're a smart kid and you really get busy, get further away. There are hotels all across the world. In your city, outside of your city, you have money. You're earning. Well, figure that out. Because at the end of the day, you can't get nobody caught up in your nonsense. Because that brother, that cousin, that aunt, that uncle family member who has nothing to do with your street activity see something happen to you and guess what they do they tend to want to testify they tend to want to get involved and say i don't want to see that happen because that happened to him he could have died or could have died whatever the case he or she but there's a parent at home that's edging them children to do this now go ahead go to court Go do this. Listen to me, people. I'm not against the civilians standing up with, from what they see. I'm not against it. I was still raised, even before I became a guy that was in the streets at a time, I was still raised not to tell. I still understood that law that mind my business. I used to always hear my grandfather tell people, oh, that guy done that? That's not good for his health, if he told. Giving you an understanding that the things that you see that you tell on in your community even when you're not a part of it, you may be held accountable for that. You know why? There are other people in this world that have people that love them also. 
that they may not be able to control from a jail cell, even if they're not guilty. Harry, Mary, Terry, Carry that run around with the machine gun Kelly. Oh, yeah. He's like, man, my man ain't going to jail. Uh-uh. You could turn on mafia movies and you'll see that this has been a remedy since the day we were born. Since individuals were getting in individuals' way, people have been clipping them. Started with two brothers who killed one another. Well, one killed the other. Cain killed Abel. Whatever the case may be, we must begin to allow our children to know, do not include your family members in your nonsense. In fact, the day, the second you begin to want to get in the streets, move. Even though your folks love you and even though you plan on taking care of your folks, get the hell away from them. You're putting them in a bad position. And guess what? The people that's a part of the streets like you, they don't have no rules. It's no rules anymore. There is no honor in the streets. So why is everybody, oh, this. I restored the honor amongst men that are understanding. I got about a good 10,000. 12,000, close to 15, half of what I got on Instagram and about 10% of what I got on YouTube because they YouTube, they hate, they're mad, mad. But at the end of the day, I'm okay with it. The reason why I'm okay with it is because I understand no one is going to understand. But there's a parent right now that's probably upset and hurt about their child that's trying to get an understanding and saying, you know what? Damn, that man is right. Because at the end of the day, there isn't going to be anyone that's going to show their face like I do. No one is going to say, oh, no, I'm going to speak on this or I'm going to, no, 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 no. Because at the end of the day, they don't have the understanding. You have to have the understanding mentally from both parties. See, I understand the shooter understanding and I understand the other party understanding, whoever they may be. Worldwide, it doesn't matter what city, what state they are in. I've had that mentality. And now I have the civilian mentality, although if I'm in a jam and I'm caught up, you can count on you getting away with it because I'm not going and I'm not coming forth to tell on anyone. You know why? As a kid, if I was able to dish negativity out and carry it like that, sometime it comes back to you. But you as a man have to know that just like the civilian as a man has to know when to mind their business. Why? Because I'm not against the civilian telling on me. I'm not. Civilian come tell on me. Not a part of the street. Might have been somebody else. Folk. I'm not against it. And I'm not going to harm the individual because that's how I am in these times. I'll stand trial with a civilian and say, hey, you win something, you lose son. I go under the rules and law of honor. A book that I have written already, but it's like, ah, ah, ah. Do I give it to the people? Because the people are accepting, you know, a lot of joking and gaming around. And I ain't with it. So my goal is to tell the people to stop recycling crime. Stop going home and still doing it. Stop selling drugs. Stop doing this. Stop shooting this. Stop doing all that. So they don't have ample opportunity when they do their thing to have you stuck and, you know, put in slavery. Might not happen in our time. Might happen in our children's time. So this is to the shooters. I want to tell you guys worldwide, don't involve yourself in harming civilians. I want to tell you guys to make sure that the innocent ones don't pop out and harm you because they are civilians don't mean they can't protect themselves either. You see, I want to tell you guys to straighten up. But I don't know your situation. I don't know what you're involved in, how far you're in. But I'm going to tell you this. There is a dead end at that. It's a dead end. Wow. Some people already made their minds up. Hmm. Dead or in jail, it don't matter. This is what I'm, I'm here for. It's not what you're here for, little brothers. You're not here for that. You're here to help one another. But I want the civilians to understand they should mind their business because that government, that police commissioners, these people that's around, they can't protect everybody. They can't. They would love to. 
Because I can't say that this new commissioner's sister probably not trying to help individuals. But guess what? You can't, they can't control your home. When they tell you your child is, or whoever that was a civilian is being protected and don't go anywhere, they're telling them not to go anywhere because wherever they go, they're liable to be in harm's way. But you say, hmm, go ahead, just be a little bit out of time. And that person who was loved by their friends and their family going to always want to protect and harm anyone that tries to do anything to them. That's just the rules. I don't know how to be mad against either party. When it comes down to civilians, now if there was a rat in play, this person was an individual who could, you know, was in the streets and he, I, I'm with it. Yeah, that's different. I'll be throwing some honor around. But when it comes down to civilians, I'm letting you youngins know in this world, wherever you, a child that's 10 years old, a man that's 40, or a man that's damn near 100, spare the individuals, spare them, spare them. King Grant is asking, begging. I'm begging you to spare the civilian that is coming forth for any case that you may get caught on, man. Because you know why? You had no business involving civilians in anything that you have going on. And guess what? Blows up everything you got going on. If you earn a dollar, now they're looking for you. Who wants to go to jail? So I'm the individual. My heart goes out to the shooters and my heart goes out to that civilian. You know why? Both have had some type of disorientation of their understanding of what they should be as a person. No one gave no direction. My grandmother would never let me see anything and come forth about it. She would tell me, you love your health, you mind your damn business. Because at the end of the day, you're not a drug dealer. And your brother, your uncle, your cousins, your family, whoever is involved in the streets can't protect you. Because only God knows who's going to die and when they're going to die and where they're going to die and how they're going to die. You can have 50 eyes all over your body. The drop is giving you a rap city. So I advise the parents today, take your children and keep them in a goddamn house. Don't let COVID, see when COVID came, y'all said, oh, y'all can't go out. All of a sudden, everybody got some damn discipline amongst their children. But this was supposed to have been in place before COVID came in play. You got to start reacting on how you teach your children. Guidance for the shooters, for the civilians. There probably can never be no more guidance for a rat. Only if he or she confesses, I done that and I don't want no parts. Pium, keep me out of the limelight. I will go underground and live my life like a rodent before I ever, ever come back in this type of thing. Because I know the mistakes I made. And that's what a rat should say. But a civilian, a civilian should always have an understanding that take it to God. Go pray to God. You want people in trouble? You pray to God. You don't go to the same people that are locking us all up. That's not to say that it's wrong for a civilian to do what they do. I understand. I'm just giving you some knowledge that God got the better answers. The police don't got no answers because guess what? Those police could be corroborating something that really never happened. Having your child signing and having you because you think, oh, my other children or my other family and friends was caught up in nonsense. So go ahead and do that. No, 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 no. God, God, let a law be your police. Let a law be your police. And on the day of Yom Kiyam, let the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam be your lawyer. I'm King Erner from the Honor Your Life campaign. Y'all listen to these platforms. They don't have the understanding. They don't have the mindset. They don't want to help our youth. They want to view or like. They said that about King Erner.
but you ain't never seen King Erna perform. All you ever see King Erna do is be a man and stand on honor. I use the top rat of the world and I, from our community, the black community, to make an example of. And I got that right to confess to who he is. How many can do that? None. Y'all don't want to give me my propers? Y'all want to go into the comments and lie and say things. I ain't erasing none. And I don't turn comments on and off. Ask you to contact them. They'll tell you, that man is not doing that. They're doing that for whatever reason. I'm King Gurner from the Honor Your Life campaign. The goal is to give the people an understanding of their mentality along with their health. With these things, physical health and mental. With these things, no one can lose. King Gurner live and direct.